In this short series of videos, we're going to do a dice project, and I figured, well, if I'm going to do a dice project, it'd be good to have something to put it on. So I drew up this image of a craps table, and I used an online source to find the layout of a craps table, and in the GIMP, started with a cube of 2048 by 2048, added a texture to it, then drew the table on top of that. And I used 2048 by 2048 because it just plays better with the text, especially the smaller text. And as a final step, I added a little bit of noise to the image, scaled it down to 1024 by 1024, and saved it as a bitmap image. So let's open up the blender. And we'll load up that image. So we'll load in a background image, navigate to that, it's on my desktop, in this folder, table bitmap, and we'll use that image to model our craps table to start off. I'll get rid of the default cube, add a circle, I'll use 24 vertices in my circle, OK, scale that down till it's, oh well, roughly the same radius as this edge. Go into edit mode and zoom in. I'm going to deselect 25% of that circle. And basically a right angle. So we're going to have a 95, 90 degree arc. And I'll erase the rest of that. Select this. Grab it. And move it into the corner of my image and then zoom in on that. And I'll just place it into that corner, more or less roughly by eye. And basically just want it all sitting onto the green. Now I'll press the period key to change my pivot to 3D cursor. Shift D to duplicate the selection, M to mirror it along the X axis, so M and then X, and that'll place the duplicate into the other corner. Then I'll select all, Shift A, or just the A key a couple times there, Shift D to duplicate that, mirror this time along the Y axis, and that'll place the two into the bottom corner. Then I'll fill in the edges. So I'll just select the two vertices in between each edge and press the F key. And do that to the four sides. And the F key. Then I'll select all. E key to extrude only edges. Drop it where it's at and scale it out a little bit to create the edge of my table. Look at it from a side view, again extrude, or a front view I should say, again extrude only edges, drop them where they're at, and this time I'll pull them down a bit. Then return to a top view, deselect all, and brush select the inside row of vertices. So I'll brush select all of the inside row of vertices. And with those selected, return to a front view, extrude, only edges, drop them where they're at, and pull those down into the model ways. And then extrude them one last time, only edges, drop them where they're at, Alt-M, merge at center. Remove 27 vertices. And have a look. See that all's gone well. Looks good. I'll select everything. Come into the Mesh dialog. Normals. Recalculate the outside. Snap my cursor to the center of that selection. Center the selection. Look at it from a top view. Might as well close down that image. We don't need it anymore. Get rid of that dialog. Split the work area. 
So we'll split this up, open up the UV image editor. Now in the editing pane, we want to press the numbers pad 7 key one time, and then the number pad 2 key one time, and that'll roll the model back a little bit. Then we'll press the U key. This comes up with the UV calculation dialog. We'll use project from view. This will place a UV mapping for our image into the UV image editor. We'll load up our image of the table. So we'll open that up, scale that out so that it meets up with more or less the edge of the image, as close as we can get. And then I'll scale it along Y to make sure that all of the edges are sitting more or less evenly onto the wood grain. And that should do. Because of the way we unwrap the image using Project from View, in the UV Im image editor we'll get somewhat of a three-dimensional view of our model. And that's because we use the number pad 2 key to roll the model offset of from a top view. And this will enable us to be able to select the entire bottom of the model. So I'll select the entire bottom of the model. And then what we want to do is scale it in so that it fits inside of the green area of the UV image. So be careful to select only the inside of it. We'll scale that in. And when I see the first edge touching onto the green, I'll check the other side to see that it's even. And that's a little bit uneven. So what I'll do here is I'll scale that in about half of that unevenness. And then I'll grab it along X and just pull it in the rest of the way. And then I'll look at the top and scale along Y. And pull it in until it touches the edge. And again, check the bottom edge. Once again, there's a little bit of offset here. So I'll scale it along Y. Pull that offset about halfway in. Grab it along Y. And stretch it the rest of the way. That'll give us a really nice UV mapping. Now we can come down into the Materials dialog, add a new material. Set the material to text space. Come into the shaders, reduce specularity and hard. Reducing specularity and hard will make the material matte. Text space will have it mapped from the UV image. So let's have a look at the texture model. That's looking good. Have a quick look through the camera. Set that up quickly. And do a quick render. And there's a quick render of our table. Certainly not a perfect position for our camera and not ideal lighting, but this is a quick video, so we do things a little bit quick. In the next video, we'll throw some dice onto this table and look at how to do that. Until then, happy modeling.